Hey, I want to welcome you to day four of our spiritual fasting guide where we're going through the scriptures together and just uh, letting God speak to our hearts. Because, you know, fasting is really about uh, not losing weight. It's about connecting with God at a different level. And so this, uh, this morning we're reading uh, through Matthew and we're in chapter 5, uh, starting in verse 21 through 48. And maybe you've already read that. But uh, as I'm reading through it, God just sort of allowed some things to jump out at me. And I want to read some of that to you. Uh, it says in verse 43, it says, You've heard the law say, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you'll be acting like true children of the Father in heaven. For he has given his sunlight to both the evil and the good and he sends the rain on the just and the unjust. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there in that? You know, oftentimes uh, I, I find myself, as I watch TV and watch the news, I, I find that, that sort of getting angry and, uh, and dividing people, you know, you're a Democrat, you're a Republican, you're independent, and all these ideas have a way of pushing us apart. And as I read this verse, uh, God tells me that all those people that are different than me, I'm supposed to love them. It's easy to love people that love you, right? It's easy to love your family. It's easy to love your wife and your kids uh, most of the time. But it's hard to love those people that are different than you, that think differently, that act differently, that look differently. And even those people that offend us. And God says that for me and for you that we've got to slow down and realize that real love loves beyond the barriers, loves beyond the things that offend us. And I think one of the secrets there, he says, listen, pray for those uh, that you think are your enemies because it begins to break down our hearts. And so, you know, as you go through your day today, uh, I want to challenge you this the way God's challenging me is just uh, let's try to love people the way that God does, not because of what they've done for us or what they've done to us, but just because the love of God is flowing through us and God loved us when we were his enemies. And that just gives me a little extra motivation to go the extra mile and say, you know what, God, I want to love the way that you do. And even when those people hurt me, even when they talk about me, or even when they do those things that I don't like, God, I'm going to take the high road and I'm going to stop and have a time of prayer and let you change me as I pray for them. Hope you have a blessed day and may God direct you in this path of this supernatural love that he wants us to experience.